look, I did a thing! What's up everyone, Owl here, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4 The Room. I hope you've been having an excellent October. We will be continuing our horror playthrough of this lovely game by entering the next world. We just finished the forest world, and I don't know where we're going next. As I've mentioned, I have looked at playthroughs, but I only stick with playthroughs if I come across a problem. If there's no problem, no playthrough, no walkthrough. So let's enter the hole, as we do, and find out where we're going next. I'm going to guess it's a water world. The hole has changed again. Well, you keep going through it, at, you know. And I think I can hear children's voices. <gasps> Walter! Yes! We gotta find Walter! Walter, are you in there? Walter's the guy who warned us not to leave our apartment. A warning we have blatantly ignored, by the way. And we found out he was apparently, one, probably murdered, and B, uh, at an orphanage. Uh, the same orphanage where we saw Mr. Gain. Oop, cutscene. Mr. Gain the Younger get, uh, lit. Oh, I have to remember our codes. My, my piece of paper with the codes on it. Don't worry, Henry, if I believe that's your name. It's Henry, right? Henry! Henry Jones Jr.! Bitch. Oh god, he's fused to the floor. That's never a good sign. Never a good sign. Ooh, nice shoes. Okay. I don't know who's the Konami artist who's like, I'm giving this guy nice shoes. <gasps> Our third victim! Don't worry, I'll see you violently die soon. Oh, you. So, first we saw Cynthia, then we saw Jasper, and now we're on to our third fr friend. Alright, I'm going to switch the bar, because I'm pretty sure anything I find here I won't be able to kill. The door is locked. I can't broken it. Sorry, 404 error. The lock is broken, I can't open it. <laughs> Ooh, here we are. Ooh, bullets. Yes. Uh, why did a shadow pass overhead? <gasps> writing. Graffiti. It still looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle room. Uh, and what are you? No, what is this thing on the wall? I, no, you, you just, you can't just have like a weird mitochondria on the wall. What are you? Okay, fine, be that way. Also, stocks and blood. Not a endearing combination. Well, they gave me bullets, so maybe they do want me to use the gun. He's going to kill me. Dude. Kill me. There's a slobbly written note on the ground. Lucky, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around the building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast. But next door in the northwest is the death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know what the numbers are, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Well, I got a list of magical numbers, so it's probably one of those. Oh, Walter, our boy! Well, I gotta be honest, man. If Walter wants you dead, we're probably gonna help him. Like, I was all up for saving you, but Walter's our boy. I'm not gonna... Hey, you. All right. It's locked. You probably deserve it. Hey, I've known Walter for all of, like, five minutes, and he would never kill someone without reason. Actually, I've never met him. He just saved my life, sort of. It's a sloppy written note. To get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of the complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. However, on the first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also... The lights only work on the third floor. You put the guard's diary in your scrapbook. Oh, is this going to be one of those things where I have to, like, enter the hole and come back? Well, you know what? I'm going to save real quick anyway, so why not? I'll be back. Enter the hole. Yay! So I came back to my apartment to save, and what do we notice? My TV is on. Ah. I don't remember turning this on. Even when I turn the power off, the screen stays on. Okay, that's not good. <gasps> A new note! 
Walter, my baby! There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. Lately, I've been feeling like my life's in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. It's kind of sexy. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago, in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. Wait, are they dates? Hey! 01121, 02121. I'm reading because I want to see if I can recognize any of these numbers. Wait, I don't recognize any of these numbers. All the numbers we have begin with 1. And these all begin with zero, except for the last one. The name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan. Oh, Walter! That's why you warned me, because you didn't want to have to kill me. Walter, that's so sweet! Walter warned us not to go out. He's like, I'm going to be doing some killing. So you, Henry, you stay here where it's safe. I love you, son. Aw, April 4th. Well, thank you, Walter. I mean... So Walter's back. Back again. Guess who's back? Walter's friend. So I'm guessing that each world is like a different memory of Walter. Like we saw the orphanage in the forest world. That was like Walter's childhood. Uh, I guess the subway was like his most recent wor murder. I gotta be honest, I'm, I'm having some conflicting thoughts because Walter's our boy. But Walter also likes to stab people and light people on fire and just do horrible things to people. So I'm not... I'm not sure what to make of this. Ooh, a ladder. We'll go down that later. Oh, you're above the cells. We're on the second floor! Ah! Really? You people again? Oh, I don't like this noises. I don't like that. I don't like that. Nope. I don't even know where I'm going. Wait, am I just going to go in a circle? If I see that ladder again, I'm taking it. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop. Ooh. Wait, can I crouch? I cannot. There's the ladder. All right, we're just going to take that. Yeah, we're going to go down. The answer, should I go down, is always a yes. Whatever the situation. Huh. For a prison looks kind of nice. So this is a... A water prison. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Ah, oh, no, these guys again. Wait, no, I should really explore this room. There might be goodies in here. Uh, there's a portal. It's good to know. Because remember, they do give me a map. Sorry I have the sniffles. My allergies are, like, really on point today. It's not the... I swear. Ah, I shouldn't have said that word. It's not the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Guess who's back? Back again. Running out of here. Open the door. Ooh, a turbine. All right, as long as this doesn't turn on while I'm in here, should be good. Oh... That's a large door. I'm gonna switch to my shooty McShooter. I forgot how to do that. How do I... Oh, it's right control. Sorry, I've been pl I was playing Conscript all day yesterday, so uh, which uses like Resident Evil controls. That's a large door. Um, do I want to go see what's behind this door? I can't open it. It's very wide. Oh, I can't open it very wide. I don't think there's anything I can do in here. Oh, nope, we're just back in here. Okay. Aha! Take this key! Yes! Water prison exit key. Key found in the water wheel room. 2F basement up is carved into it. Alright, sweet. I would not even know there was a key there. So sometimes, apparently, you are supposed to just kill all the bad guys, because I never would have approached that sign. It's weird. In some in some parts of this game, they, like, reward you for, um, you know, avoiding the bad guys. And then there's some parts, like this part here, where it's like... Oh, thank you. Oh, hey, hey. Where it's like, no, 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 you should really kill all these guys. They'll, they'll reveal clues. All right, sweet. All right, where do we use this key? Do we use it on the super wide... Uh, door that's in here? Okay, no, we do not use it in here. But we have a key now, so... I'm so glad all these guys didn't respond. They're all still dead. It makes my life, oh, so much more pleasant. Mm, and it's a nice day out, too. 
It's like October, but it's 74 degrees outside and just gorgeous. I live in New England too, which is, oh wait, are these bad guys still down here? I think if I stick towards the inner wall, I might be okay. Actually, I think they're all forming above me. I just need to see if there's a door up here I can use. This door will lock. It seems to be locked from the inside. Ah! You jerk! Just need to see if there's anything at the top of this of the stairs. Go away. Yeah. I really hope this isn't just an endless loop of me going in circles. Oh thank god. Okay. All right, now we're back in here. Um, dude, I have a key. I might actually be able to help you, oddly enough. Where are you? Oh, I went the wrong way. If I'd gone in the other direction, I would have found him sooner. Where? Bro yeah, I know Walter's gonna kill you. I'm still thinking about helping him. What? Okay, the key doesn't go to that. Sorry. I had the wrong key, sir. Ooh, I have not been in here. Oh, cheerful. Something's written. I'm sick of being watched. Is that it? Can I take the rope? I'm not trying to be morbid, but like, you know. Hey, in the forest, you could take nooses and use them for rope. But this isn't the forest. In fact, that game... Oh. I... Look, I don't even know if these things hurt you. I'm just not taking any chances with... Oh, that's a dude above me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, dude above me? That dude's on the same level as me. Who the fuck is above me? Is that Walty? Is that Wawa? My way, way, woo, woo? Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Walter's gonna be pissed at me, but yeah, I'm gonna attempt to save your life. Oh, wait, this is where I was before. I, I want to go to this door. Ah, use the water prison key. Yay! Oh. Ooh, we're outside. Pretty. Can I do this without dying? Yeah, yes. Let's go up the ladder. We can explore the staircase later. Walter! I got a PPK for you! Oh, actually, his name's Sullivan, so... Were we already in here? Oh, oh god. Oh, ew, what the fuck? Oh no. Get a bag of salt and just sprinkle it everywhere. Oh, oh, oh god. They're like brain slugs from Futurama, only worse. Oh no. N no! Oh my gosh. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, God. Wait. Uh, uh. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm just... Yeah, no offense to you guys. I'm just gonna assume that you're horrible monsters. Huh? These bottles are filled with black powder. Someone was experimenting with dynamite? So... Ah, more writing. It's a diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's people the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Surveillance room people? Well, now I have something to find. Oh, and something to avoid at all costs. It's broken. Cool. Oh! Oh! Hey! No! No! I... No! No! Okay, now... No. 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 For, no. Ste step on it. Oh, I don't want to get closer to it. Oh, God. Oh, no. What the? What? No. They're like brain penises. What's the difference? Ha 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 ha. But seriously. Oh, my God. No. Door is broken. I, you know what? A, a gun. I got 14 bullets left. We'll make it work. Oh, my God. Broken. 
Okay, and we're back at the beginning. Uh, okay, so we found out there's a peephole, and we just, ugh, just don't want to be there. Can I actually just go up in circles if I don't want to take the ladder? Can I fix my angle? Ah, uh, that, that didn't help at all. Ah, there's, ah, the birds! The ladders are to avoid the boids! Leave me alone! Okay, you know what? Oh, that didn't help. Go, 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 go. I don't think I have any healing items on me. Running, running, running. Okay, yes, I'll take the ladder. Shoot. Wait, what's this? New room. Go inside. All right, what fresh horror awaits us on this level? Oh. There are clothes lying here. Yes, but Henry, how does that help us? Yes. Ah, uh, no, 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 I'm running out of ammo. Do you think this is funny, Walter? Walter, this is the opposite of funny. Walter, I'm going to go up to you and I'm going to put this gun up your ass and squeeze the trigger until the gun goes click. Big Lebowski style. It's a diary again. Is it Walter's diary? We had beef stew yesterday. In the cafeteria, I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen. And they take meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Well, yeah, cannibalism is not exactly great. So this prison isn't exactly lovely. It's another diary. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Well, that sounds like a personal problem, my dude. Sounds like a personal problem. Ah, sight! Hey, buddy! Ho! Oh, hey, why do you have two heads? Oh, 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 no. Hiding inside. Oh, hey, there's a pit. Okay, hey, what's on the wall? What's on the wall? What's on the wall? It's a mitochondria. Okay, two-headed dead floating baby outside. That's not something you see in your average prison. I mean, I haven't exactly taken the Alcatraz tour recently. Why are the lights out? Oh, it's just Walter. Oh, it's just a it's just a homicidal maniac. At least it's not the dead floating baby of two heads. There is no alcohol in this, but I'm beginning to wish I had put alcohol in this. That'd be really great right now. Oh my god! Do I want to jump down this hole? Jump down the hole? Ugh, yes. I probably shouldn't. This is a bad idea, Henry! Yep, but you know what? Oh, is this supposed to be like just a quick way to get to the first level? This is probably a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Okay. And now we're back at the beginning because I'm an idiot. So, through the magical power of editing... Hey, what the hell's happening here? Uh, I just went back to my apartment to save, and uh, she's fighting invisible bugs. E-girl, you okay? E-girl? Alright. It's a ladder. Go up, forget it, go down. That's a new option. Well, we're going to go up, of course. I want to see what's at the very top. Here we go. What's at the very top? A door. The door won't open. It seems like it's locked from the inside. All right. Well, we're finally at the top level. I don't know what's going to be here, but... Mm. By taking the ladders, we avoided all of the flies. Wait, is this... Huh. There's a handle here. Will you turn it? Uh, yeah. Always turn the handle. Yeah, that one's not really sexual, but still. Oh, yes, just like my knees when I try to get out of bed in the morning. I think I just flooded all the lower levels, which I means I just pissed off a lot of ghosts, probably. You know what? Fuck them. <laughs> Honestly, to all the ghosts and ghouls who keep trying to touch my body, and my very sensible shoes, whoop, and my poor sense of direction, can I... It's screw them. All right, I'm just gonna keep going this way. I know there's flies, but I feel like I just I want to go into the next lowest door, and I feel like the best way to guarantee that is to just kind of keep walking. No, stay too close. To Shoot, I can't see now. I can't see. Oh god, and changing the there's two camera angles. No, just keep just keep running, Henry. Henry, Henry, you're not Henry. Okay, you know what? Bitches die. 
Oh, the door is right there. Well, still. Okay, fine. Whatever. I, I killed one of you. All right, Walter. Oh, wow. It got a lot wetter. Probably because I definitely fudged or something. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. All right. Armed with his bottle of Moscato, the bourgeois demon hunter continues his quest for vengeance. Or whatever. I've actually already explored that. Ah! I've actually already explored this this level. This level! Ah! The baby! I forgot about the baby! Ah! No! Bad baby! Oh, bad baby! Where's the hole? Gotta find the hole. A problem that I... Ooh, this is new. Books? Anything useful? Any books? Uh, any books that can help me? Anything on how to kill demon babies? No, there's just a bunch of books. That was not helpful. Okay. Seems that we'll have to take a classical approach. Alright. We gotta find the hole. We're gonna find the hole, we're gonna jump down it. Oh, hey baby! Ha! I knew it didn't kill it. It just made me feel better. Jump in the hole? Yes. Because... While last time I jumped in the hole, nothing happened. This time, as you recall, I have flooded the place. Ooh, different camera angle. Jump in the hole. Yeah. Whee! Splat. Oh, shit! Baby, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, this is new. Ah, oh, there's triplets! Qu quadruplets? Qu quadruplets! Get, go away! Ah! This, it's unlocked. Good! It better be unlocked. Oh, God. Thank God, unlike the creatures from Jurassic Park, they have not figured out door locks yet. Okay, going back to the metal bar. All right, which way do we want to go? Oh, we want to try to go for the inside part of the tower. So let's go. Let's go up here. Uh, yes. Hopefully, this will take us somewhere new. It did. We're in an office. There's a document here. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. This is Juvie? You built a water prison world for Juvie? What, did these kids, like, pickpocket someone and then, like, shove the, the wallet up their ass? But the less they know about that, the better. I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. It's kind of my kink. <laughs> I know, I'm a monster. With no food, and they never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Dude, that's fucked. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell of a body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, my accent changed over the course of this because I'm having a stroke. I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? Have you noticed? I painted it. Summer time pink. Got it on sale at Home Depot. It's beautiful. It just really, it really brightens the bloodstains. There are three other rooms with bloody beds. Uh, one is the first floor, one is the second floor, and one is the third floor. If you line those three rooms up there, it's bingo. Man, I need to seek therapy. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Sure. One F surveillance. Can I go? Can I go farther up? Yeah, let's go. Let's go farther up. We have to. Another office. Could you imagine having your offices like this? Someone like sneezes or drops a tissue or drops a coffee. Goes. Pew! Ooh, this is new. Durstai. Oh, this is how we rotate the entire thing. We'll we'll deal with that later. There's a document here. Shit. I'm gonna fuck up this puzzle. To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally brought as searchlights. As a precaution against a blackout, they were set up to run in a private generator. There's a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Your lights are corpse powered? Since each floor of this building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well-behaved. P.S. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with the first floor cell that has the bloodstained bed. By the way, if you use the peephole in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Much appreciated, Chief. Hey, I did that earlier. All right, sweet. All right, uh, peephole, peepholes. 
Oh, that's what these are? Oh. I see. Okay. All right. So I got to go back down. All right. So which room has the bloody bed? Oh, that was easy. So it's the one to the immediate left of the desk. All right. So that's how we got it. We got to make all the bloody beds to the immediate left of the desk. To the right. To the right. To the right. Okay, both bloody, the first bloody bed and the second bloody bed are aligned to the left of the desk. Let's go up to the third floor. Henry, Henry, we're going up. I know, normally we go down, but today we go up. Oh, no. The secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen is 0302. I'm just going to write that down right now. 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. Thanks, Janice. You put the secret number memo in your scrapbook. All right. Uh, ooh, they took away the desk. So, but we have to basically get it here. Uh, what's here right now? Not the bloody bed. Ooh, pair of empty pajamas. Fun. Kind of scared I'm going to look through one of these holes and see something I don't really want to see. Oh, hey, the bloody bed's right there. Okay, so we just got to turn it to the right ones. Sweet. Uh, to the right. I don't know what's gonna happen when everything's aligned. Supposedly, I'll be able to get into the kitchens and the death room, which keeps getting mentioned, so that must be important. Hey! I freed the dude, but Walter's gonna. T oh, he peed himself. Right. To the first floor! We're going down, down, de -le 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 down. Uh, what? Walter, are you the little child? Why is he pleading with that kid? That's the murderer? Ah. Uh. That kid Walter. He was really into that mumbo jumbo. Oh, he's a wizard. Come on. Set of holy mother business. Scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Is this a Johan situation? Did you take oh, a sociopath? And give him paramilitary training? Oh, oh, what is this horse piss? No. Yeah, down. Well, with, with Johan, what happened was they took they took a sociopath and gave him paramilitary training. If, if, it's, if that's Johan from Monster. Whereas in this case, it would be, let's take a sociopath and give him, like, dark evil magical powers. So this would be more of a Voldemort situation. Oh yeah, Des describe an anime badly. Um, a sociopath is given um, Soviet military training, and it goes poorly. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, I like the monster uh, book series, but I couldn't get into the anime. But I think it's because with most animes, traditionally, it's a slower pace than, uh, than the books. Actually, I gotta figure out where the fuck I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going here. I, I'm assuming I, I have to descend. You know, I have no proof that that's what I have to do, but that, that's what feels right. Because I keep getting told, like, oh, there's a pump down here and a generator down here. So I feel like I have to go to the basement. The generator room was not where I needed to... So I'm not super sure what I'm doing right now, but I imagine I had to go back to this tower after aligning everything. So if anything happens, uh, you'll see. Huh, I found a new diary. Now it'll look like I'm sleeping. Huh? Were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. Uh, I hate to break it to you, bro. It does not look like you're sleeping. Oh, there's two holes. Oh, 
okay, there's two buildings, there's two holes now on the same floor. So I gotta make sure I go for the right one. Since they're talking about the bloody beds, I'm going to assume this is the correct hole. And will lead me somewhere. Ah, uh, fuck, I think I picked the wrong hole. Dag nab it. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. I think I figured this out. Yep. See, I was trying to match. There's, there's actually two bloody, bloody beds, and I thought I only had to match one, and there's actually two. So I had one uh, set of beds. Uh, matched, but I did not have the other set matched, and that's why I was so lost. You know? Because I'm like, you're supposed to be able to drop down into the kitchen, and I was like, what the hell? Uh, and it's like, yeah. So, so. Ah! Like, that's how you get into the kitchen slash crematorium, is you have to do that. So. Okay, so we gotta go Udui back. Back to the third floor. There we go. All right, if this is not the right hole, then I, I, but I am completely lost. Jumping down a hole, trying to find a fucking kitchen. It's all the one, I find the kitchen. Yes, a third hole, the third hole. We found the sacred third hole. All right, back at it again, a Krispy Kreme. Would you like some donuts with that pie? Oh my god. But that's on me. I, I misinterpreted the clues. Like, oh, I matched all- I matched the beds. There's, there's two sets of beds, you stupid! You stupid, Henry! Henry, you're so stupid! Alright, uh... Oh crap, the code! Haha! -ha. Now, I am very- oh, no, this is the plate. The watchfulness plate. Placard from Water Prison World shows an ISO's watchfulness. Okay, so we're near the end then. And the code, which I wrote down, which is good, because I would have completely forgotten otherwise. 0302. Ah. I am not allowed to try to touch the keypad until I have a light source. That's right, they did mention something about lights on the first floor. Oh, thank God, we finally did it. I I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I... That puzzle... <sighs> took me way too long to figure out. I'm gonna get out of my way. Okay, moving on. Sheesh. All right, and the code is zero three zero two. Boop. Ooh, charming. Like it. Not sketchy at all. Oh, this is the death room. That's right. This is where they they kill the kids for some reason. Uh, it's a dude from the orphanage. One eight four two one. One eight one two one. What does it mean? I don't know, but Walter's precocious little twelve-year-old ghost demon creature. Oh my gosh, and we're back. Okay, so we have beaten the water prison world, but as always, we gotta see what's changes in our apartment first. Ah, TV is on. Wait. Yeah, it's for TV. Ah! Wait. Just like I thought, the power's blown. That's not the TV, that's the, the faucet? Alright, well, we got another note from somebody. Let's check that out. 
There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghosts. It saved my life. It was stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. July 23rd. You read the Red Diary. Alright, so apparently we gotta go back to the forest world and find the magical sword. Hey, it's my super. Just... Creepily staring at my apartment. So, thank you guys for watching. That was the Water Prison World Silent Hill Level 3, technically, even though I know this is episode 5. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe anyway. Because you know what? It really means a lot to me right now. And I will see you guys for the next video. Mwah! Thank you.